Hello and uh, welcome back. Today we're going to play a little bit with the Kitley Multimeter and it is the Kitley 192. Uh, I found it on eBay. I think it was from the US. I bought it several months ago. And uh, it is a 5.5, but you can switch it over to a 6.5 millimeter. So that's actually quite cool, especially when I think it's half 80s, but uh, I, we zoom in later to see when it was actually uh, built. But 6.5 in that time, that was a proper meter. And uh, let's see if we can calibrate it a little bit. Maybe it's even already good and then we don't need to do anything. Uh, I will be using the programmable voltage source. It's also a kit lead, the 230. Can go from a few millivolts up to 100 volts can deliver 100 milliamps, so I don't need to worry if I put a few meters in parallel because I also like to monitor with my uh, Sigland uh, 3065, it's also 6.5 and with the Agilent uh, 34401A. So let's play a little bit. Oh yeah, maybe nice to mention, when I bought this, it said it was sold as uh, being tested. So I played it a little bit more, but at least I knew it was not completely broken. And it was from a company called Custom Call, and uh, they do repairs and calibrations. So uh, I have high hopes that the device is really working. Let's have a closer look. So I have uh, found two manuals. One is the programming manual, it's mainly for the IEEE. And uh, I also have a, a normal service manual. And uh, one is from 82, the other one from 84. So we are probably in that uh, H uh, range. I see that for uh, DC volts is by default and, and the ohms measurements also. Only for AC you need a special module. I don't think I have that module in here, but uh, that's easy to find out. Uh, indeed six and a half digits. It will be using a filter. So using the filter, I think it scans a little bit slower or it takes uh, five samples and then it averages from those and then it just shifts. So the readout will be a little bit slower, but it will be more accurate and that's why. Now here we have a closer look. It does look quite nice. Of course, we need to clean it up, remove the sticker. Well, I do that carefully later. It is already switched on because for adjusting, you need to have it switched on for two hours. So meanwhile, we just leave it switched on and even when you adjust you quickly need to lift the cover adjust and then put it back to keep the temperature well if you see it is also with an IEEE uh, interface there is here some status output not sure what that is I already switched it over because of course in the US they have 110 and here we have 230 so I already did that. I removed the marking and I put it here. And uh, output installed. They probably mean that it has the IEEE option. Always cool to have. I need to play a lot more with that. Okay, let's lift that cover. We carefully can open it. Wow, that actually looks very clean. Okay, here yeah, on the module it's 81. Well, let's zoom in. Well, zooming in. But this is the option board. This is uh, from 81. But they could have put uh, the board later in. I think this is 82. What else we see? Okay, I turn it a little bit. We can see here it's already a revision E. So it's one of the later models. It is calibrated, can't really see a date. 0803. Yeah, it's calibrated by, inspected by, but there is no date. Well, I think I'm just going to lift the cover carefully. It is kind of locked in these little clamps. And uh, I will shortly switch it off while doing that. Let's power it off. Okay. Doesn't seem to have any screws. A lot of adjustment resistors right here. 
I have here the on the screen which does what so we can have a look at it how is that locked in the front looks like the same way carefully try to lift that oh yeah Okay, look at that. We have some uh, fancy op amps, I think. What is that? The LM3. I can't really read. Let me zoom in on that later. Here we have also. You see this? I'm not sure if it's a precision op amp or some sort of a reference. And this one has been replaced because it is on a socket. This one also. And I see a lot of 82s, 81, 82, 82, 82, so I think that is that. Uh, I read in the manual here we have an extra pot that is for uh, linearity and it needs to be adjusted above revision D. And uh, this is already an E, so we're just going to check if it's linear. So if you are on the 2 volts and you are just a uh, 1.9 volts, almost a maximum scale, then you also check in the 1 volt, and if the 1 volt is off while the 1.9 is spot on, then you probably need to adjust your uh, linearity. So, uh, that is this one. But I'm not going to touch anything, because it comes from this calibration company, so probably it is not that far uh, off. Okay, I put the cover back on. Here we have some adjustment, here we have some adjustment. Here is a space for this AC module. Even through RMS, I think. Well, I don't have it. This is loose, no connection here. Maybe the module has been in here because of this pin. But it could also be it just slides on and then it connects directly to this one. And we have a lot more adjustments here. Yeah, and these manuals are just great. And they don't hide any information. It's just very clear. I like that from uh, Kidley. If you, you just need to adjust this one, put it on that voltage, do this, and it can be so far off. And yeah, and just following the steps. That is great. Here is the position even of all the resistors, even with the value that you need to adjust. So that is just... Uh, I like that a lot. Well, I'm looking through the procedure and I just noticed that there is even a 2000 volt range, which is pretty high, because usually you will always see it like a, a thousand or with the newer Kidleys, 300 volts. And uh, it is very rare that you see it up to 2000, and that's also on AC. Well, everything is uh, is heating. It has been on for a while. I, I opened this one to show you, so it cooled down a little bit. But as you can see, the edulant now is uh, nearly there, and the cyclant is also there. I think it is now about an hour that it is on. And let you see. If I put this one, well, that is also close. Uh, program one for the extra digit. Here we go. And it is actually one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. So uh, <laughs> that is not bad. So I've maybe this calibration company already uh, calibrated it. This one is 2.2 million counts. So and this one, I think not. That's why here we have a zero and an extra digit here. Um, let's do 1.9. 1.9 volts. So then we are in the, here we get an extra zero. Well, here we are not. But here we can maybe, if I switch down one, look at that. 
This is so close. What if we put it to uh, 0.19? Okay, we can do a little, little adjustment, but I like to heat it up a little more. So, because the scale is with 220, 200, 2000, I. Uh, that's why I used a 1, 1 1.9. Let's do 19 volts then. It will switch over. Look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then to this one. Yeah, look at that. I cannot do 190, but I can do 99 volts or 100. Not sure how precise is the 100. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of for so many years. Uh, I switched off the cyclant and the, the value was, was uh, still dropping, dropping, and I didn't like it. Uh, because it's really sensitive for temperature and uh, the etchelons are less uh, sensitive for that. The room is of course getting a little hotter and hotter. And uh, I have now both of them and they even agree. So uh, this is where I will start from. I will skip the resistance. I will just go immediately to the voltage. Okay, uh, adjusting is just uh, a lot of uh, patience. Little adjustment. Wait, 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 wait. Put the cover back on. And you see the failures are just going slowly up, up and down, slowly up and down. And I'm now to exactly 100 volts according to the 230. Here you can see I'm a fractional above and we are talking about uh, millivolts, so less than a millivolt. Here we are a little bit below, also less than a millivolt. And here, exactly the same story. And for a 100 volt setting, that is amazing. And the temperature, if I just take the cover off, it will slowly get up. It is so sensitive on this last uh, digit. And, uh, but it is pretty stable for such an old device. And if I put it on a higher scale, well, that is the filter, so it will slowly get to its value. Then it is spot on. And uh, can I change a digit? Yes. On these last numbers, it is really a little bit hot, a little bit low. As you can see, it's slowly adjusting. Cool, let's clean it. Wow, look at that. So after a good clean, it really is allowed now to, to be in the in the collection. Looking shiny, display very bright, well calibrated, great. So that's it, another Kidly, nice and clean. And uh, it also gives more or less the right value, I would say. So I think project well done. Thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.